So, heart mug. Is it too late to say I'm not a massive fan of his Doctor like some of the others? Now, that's not to say I'm not a fan of the first Doctor, because he's definitely a Doctor I admire. There are plenty of stories that I like, ranging from the beginning of his run with an unearthly child to his final one, the 10th planet, including the art. But, I'm not a massive fan. I just think personally there are some Doctors I prefer to the first. But still, I wanted to contribute to this mug, so what better story to talk about than The Edge of Destruction? Unfortunately, that review was squandered by another YouTuber, so I thought, why not talk about an aspect of his era that I found interesting? The fact that some of his stories had less than 4 episodes, but they're still counted as full stories. So, there you go, my reason for why this video exists. A chance to answer this question to these Hartnell stories. Do they deserve more episodes? Well, the TARDIS crew goes haywire and starts affecting the crew, with some of them trying to kill each other, and the others trying to also break up the TARDIS crew at the same time. Well, this was down to the BBC chief of programs at the time, Dole Bearstock. At the time, he didn't want Doctor Who to go past an unearthly child due to, as he imagined it, budget overruns. However, co-creator of the show, Sidney Newman, was able to step in and allow production of 13 episodes of the show. Now, at the time, they had an unearthly child, which is 4 episodes long, the Daleks, which was a hefty 7 episodes, and Marco Polo, which is another 7 episodes. Having all three together make 18 episodes, which Sid and Newman couldn't allow the production of after having to agree to 13. So, what was created instead was the story of the Edge of Destruction, or Inside the Spaceship, by writer David Whitaker. This story had to be 2 episodes long, otherwise it would go over the limit. Well, originally before I rewatched the story, I actually said yes. It would have been okay to bring more episodes into the story, but after I rewatched it, I slowly but surely changed my mind on this answer. I think the story that we have here works better with the brief 2 episode format. It's a bit of a breather from the long Dalek story beforehand, but it also mentally prepares you for the long Marco Polo story ahead of it. But also, it's a nice change of pace, story and location for these characters. You do have to remind yourself that only 11 weeks beforehand, these characters have only been introduced, so we're still learning by this point onwards, especially when it came to the characters of the Doctors of Susan. We knew bits and pieces about these mysterious characters, but not too much. So this story was really theirs in all honesty. And through this, we got a lot more from this team, especially with the Doctor and Susan and why this whole of theirs means something to them. Now, if you were to add two more episodes to this, it probably wouldn't do as good in the long run. Well, this time we have the TARDIS crew being materialised at one inch tall. Now all they have to do is find a way to get themselves back up to size to stop a case of deadly insecticide being produced. This is down to BBC head of series Donald Wilson. He wanted the second season to be a bit of a success, but he was less enthusiastic about the opening story, Planet of Giants. He felt that the series could have been seen as a lackluster opening story to the second season itself. He originally tried to move it after the Dalek invasion of Earth, but due to that story's ending, it would have caused a bit of a continuity error. So what he did to solve the problem was to excise the third episode of Crisis down to some of the simpler elements into a new version of this third episode, which used a lot of the fourth episode of its material. This way, the story could move a lot quicker and they could actually get to the Dalek story at a much faster pace. You know what? I agree with Donald Wilson, it really doesn't. The three episode structure works well as the story, keeping the journey to other main characters to a quick pace. So we see that the benefits and the negatives of this journey without feeling the need to stop for anything strenuous. And this is despite the fact that the story is a really great idea, having the TARDIS team travel a large world in such a small size. With that idea, you could do a lot with it in the terms of action and suspense. Like the Doctor and Susan could battle a flow against tap water, which to us is a menial thing, but to them it's a venture in themselves. The locations that they visit, the actions that they do and to witness, are all done better than the story without needing more time to focus on it. A spacecraft has landed on the planet Dido. Most of the crew are dead and the only survivors, Bennett and Vicky, are being terrorised by the monster Quillian, waiting for any rescue ship to arrive. Because, essentially David Whitaker, the writer for the story, wanted to leave Doctor Who, but also had to introduce a new companion to replace Susan. So, he created the story with two episodes in mind. Honestly, I'd have to say yes to the story. As much as it makes for a nice follow-up to the Dalek invasion of Earth, 
I just think it needed two more episodes because its ideas are underutilized in its two part format that it's stuck in. The fact that the alien called Quillian terrorizing the crew so much that they need a doctor and this crew to help them only really comes to play in the first part. And really, that's not a ton of time for such a good idea like that one. I think we needed an extra episode where we'd see more of the crew against the alien before we had them reveal. Also because of the short length, Vicky, the one that the story introduces, doesn't get a lot of the story due to it being too short. By the end of the story, you do get a good impression of her and her character, but I just think it's too brief of a one to get me invested in her overall, which is something that later stories do better because they're longer length. In this one, Mark Corey, an agent of the Space Security Service, has a mission to expose a secret base on Kemble, as it involves a conspiracy that spans across the stars. So to cut a long story short, Doctor Who used to have big production seasons. Originally, season 2 was to have only 26 episodes, with most of the production season being season 2. But they also had to record some extra episodes on the side, like they did the first production season with Planet of the Giants and Dalek and Bishop of Earth. However, Planet of the Giants was cut from four episodes to three, which meant there was an episode missing. So to make up for it, the production team included it as an extra story, which meant they got Terry Nation to offer it as a prequel story to the upcoming season three Dalek story. And with that, Mission to the Unknown was born. Not really. I think the ideas it has, the space security service, the plans made by the creatures, and the Valga plans are good. But we kind of already have a story for that, which is the Dalek's master plan, which is already 12 episodes long. And I think that does the job of expanding the ideas in the story plenty. If this story did have more episodes, it would just seem more like padding for the story or its follow-up. And sure, perhaps it might be nice to get some more on the space security service in the story or the characters involved in the story, but it just wouldn't have been needed for the story in the long run. So, out of the four stories involved, only one of them to me made me actually think about extending the story length for its worth. But hey, I guess these stories are really more worth than you think even if they are shorter than the usual length. And actually, I really enjoyed thinking about the big question I gave to these stories, as for the first two, I really did have a hard time using my final answer. Trust me, there was a point in this video scripting where I was just saying yes to extending all the stories but Mission to Unknown. It took me a while, but I'm glad I was able to rethink my choices before I finished the script. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the rest of Heartland Month. I'm about to take my summer break, so I'll be back in September. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll be seeing you, my friends.